Well, hello, y'all. How you doing? All right, so it's Greg Coleman with The Made Face. I know I look completely insane and crazy right now, but that's because I am working on the pop art comic book woman character that will go right along with your pop art man. So if you're doing a couples thing for Halloween, this would be perfect, it would be a lot of fun, and it's not that hard to do. So I've already gone ahead, I've evened out my complexion using the Ben Nye um, Matte Foundation Palette that I showed you in the last tutorial, and I used a shade lighter than my skin tone again, and that's because you want to create some major contrast with all that you're doing. And then I've already filled in on this side, as you can see, I have filled in some um, key moments. Now, with the last one, there was a lot more lines happening on my face because I was trying to make it look very manly. This one, I'm trying to make it more soft and youthful. So I'm just accentuating the things that you really want to bring out and trying to feminize my face. I am a dude, so. And you want to do this as well because you want to make sure that you look as feminine as possible. So as you can see, I have feminized the brow, made it a little bit, it's still thicker on one end, but it's thinner on the other, and I extended it down quite a bit farther than I did with the man's brow. The man's brow had a nice thick chunk on the outside edge, um, and then it, it kind of got, you know, a little shorter and a little fatter. Um, I've also gone ahead and I've, I've drawn that line down the center. Now with the female character, I went ahead and I accentuated this little part of the nose here. As you can see, I put a little curve there. And I've already done the lips. I've drawn quite a bit outside the lips, connect them together. And I'm going to show you how to do the lips in a moment. And then, of course, the cheekbone, I've gone ahead and I have sculpted out a little cheekbone here. And then I have this wig on, which is going to be kind of my Marilyn Monroe kind of hair for this look. I would recommend that you make it look as comic book as possible. So buy some spray and maybe spray some, you know, black, a little bit of black through here to give some streaks. And then spray some um, bright yellow through it as well. So that way it kind of gives it streaks. I just didn't want to mess up this horrible wig. <laughs> I don't know why. I just didn't want to. So the other thing I have done, the reason I have the wig on is actually, you can see here I've drawn and darkened up the edge of the wig just to kind of give it a little more contrast again. I've also gone down here on my decollete and I've gone ahead and I've accentuated the, um, what do you call that balm? I don't know. I wasn't used to having it until I lost some weight, so now I have one, so now I can accentuate it. Bam! Ah. I accentuated that, and I also gave myself a little cleavage. Bam! You can see that. So um, that's because I'm wearing a dress that's kind of low cut, and when you see the pictures, you'll know. I'm not going to show you the, that whole thing on here. But let me go ahead and get started um, on doing the other side of the face so you can actually see. So I'm using the same black foundation I used on the last one, dipping in with the same brush. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the brow. So I'm going to start with this brow and show you how to do that. I've done the brow before in different tutorial videos. You're going to just make different lines from the nose right up, make a little dot, right past the iris, make a dot. That's where the, the, um, the arch will be. And then right past here, make another dot. You want to over-exaggerate these things because, again, you're a comic book character. So this is going to be a little more over-exaggerated than your normal everyday look. All right, so we're just drawing on our brow, getting a baseline going where we want to go, and then just gonna kind of fill in and kind of create an outline first, since we are doing more of a comic book, pop art type character. Just kind of fill in different areas. Can you see what I'm doing here? And then draw a line straight down to here. So you can see I've got a nice outline of that brow. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I may cut this video short or I might just jump ahead to something um, more important to learn. I think you guys have probably got the gist of where you're going to be putting these different lines. Um, if you haven't, then you can always comment or email me um, at themadeface at gmail.com and I would be happy to send you instructions on how to do this or we can talk about me coming out and doing your makeup for Halloween. You can look just like me. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? Don't all speak at once. I realize. 
So I'm just filling in this brow, and then for time's sake, I don't want to make the, this video, my videos have been so long, and I'm just like, what? For time's sake, I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to even this out a little bit. I didn't realize that brow is a little bushier, but it's okay. And you want this extreme contrast in brows because, you know, those dark brows with the extremely light hair is so chic. But it's very comic book. If you look at comic books, most of the characters have dark, 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 dark ass brows. <laughs> All right, so we've done that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other side of the nose here. So again, I'm just making a little curve right here on the nose. Just accentuating that, like so. And then again on the outside edge here, make a little curve there. And then I've already done this little part, but I want to do this little guy right here. Which I don't know the technical words for all this crap, but y'all will know. And I'm sure somebody will email me and say, um, get your anatomy correct, because seriously, you should know that that's your whatever, septum or whatever the hell it is. Filling in, I want to make the nose a little more feminine, because in the last one, you know, it's very masculine, so I'm trying to make it look a little more pointed, as you can see. See what that does? Okay. So there's that. Let me move on really quickly to the lips, because the lips are going to be completely different than the dude. Because the dude, I filled in the top lip almost all the way, and then just did a really thick line under the lip, and left the lips nude. With this look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be doing real true, like, comic book, huge ass, huge, I keep saying ass, that's my word of the day. And I want to do the eye too. So let me do the lips really quick. So just gonna go, I went from the middle of the cupid's bow. I'm gonna go quite a bit above that. Come back around. And then kind of on the corner, kind of do a little bit of a, a turn upward because you want it to kind of have a smiley kind of a look. Like so. Like that. It's like a mustache right now. Once I get it filled in, it'll be perfect. And then we're going to go right down from this down. And then basically right under your bottom lip. So, if it doesn't look perfect, that's totally fine. I'm gonna thicken up this outside edge just a little bit. Okay, so I got the outline of the lips. Now I'm gonna be filling in the lips. I'm gonna use just a lipstick brush. It looks like this. You see that? It's a lipstick brush. And I'm going to be taking just a cream red, which actually I'm going to use for the dots as well on my face. Just this cream red and this severe um, exposure palette. Taking that red, and I'm just going to fill in everything inside that black line, except for me, the little tiny spot where I'm going to paint that white. So it's going to look like a reflection happening. So I'll show you. So here we go. Fill it in all red. There's my crazy dogs. Like so. a little faster here. This is kind of an orangey red, which is totally fine. 
You could go real bright red too if you wanted to or whatever, but orangey red's fine. We're gonna leave a spot right around this area of the lip. So you can see I left a little nude spot. And for interest of time, I'm going to spill in down here. For interest of time, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a white pencil, looks like this, a cream pencil, and I'm going to fill in that little area. Be careful not to mix too much of the red together with it. Like that. So it looks like a basically like a reflection happening on your lip. Then take your lip pencil again and just kind of blend a little bit. Like so. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take, after this, I'm gonna take a red eyeshadow, a matte red eyeshadow, and kind of just press this over the parts that are kind of orangey red and just to make it kind of be a little more impactful. It's also going to really help to um, set that in as well. So I don't have to powder over that. I'm gonna use a matte red eyeshadow. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do and show you is going to be the eye, all right? So first thing you're gonna do, as you can see on this eye, I have a fake lash going and I've used a blue color. You can use any eyeshadow color you want to use. It does not matter, I chose a bold blue just because I thought it'd be really great. Um, first thing I want to do is take that bold blue, and I'm going to put that all over the lid, okay? So all over the lid, just put that bold blue. I already have mascara on this eye. Don't forget to put your mascara on first. Go all the way into this little tear duct area here. You want to make this look as campy and as crazy as you possibly can. So just a bold blue color right on that lid. Kind of wing it up a little bit on this edge. You don't want to go up too far because you want to do that real sharp black line you can see on that eye. You want to do that on this side too. So I like this. This is, a, this is Cosmic Blue um, by Ben Nye. It's a Lumiere, uh, Lumiere um, color. My lips are just popping here. So just don't have to be perfect right now. Just do it up the way you can. Then we're going to take that same um, black color we've been using the whole time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, from the bottom lash here, so I'm going to draw a line straight up from the bottom lash, outside corner, straight up to here. This is going to be basically my winged look. Just straight up, as you can see, see that straight up. Then I'm going to go from that corner down to the lash line on the upper. So that's going to automatically give me that winged look. Then fill that in. You can go as extreme as you want with this. Trying to get it as crisp and clean as possible. And then go just right along the lash line and do like a normal liner. Can you see that? Go all the way into the corner, that black. Then I'm going to go all the way from the inside corner here, down, and then underneath the eye. The brushes I'm using actually are art brushes with a fine tip. This is actually, I think, an eight, which I guess that just means it's a size. I don't know. Not that I'm a size queen or anything. 
Uh-huh. That was inappropriate. Sorry. Just making it all joined together like so. Then I'm going to take this black and I'm going to do a crease. Oh, hello. I'm going to do a crease. So from this inner corner here, right here, I'm going to go right. Oh, oh, hello. I'm going to go right above that blue color. Like so. And then kind of wing it out like that. See that? There are really no rules here. You just want to make sure you're drawing lines that would be very comic book e. Okay, there you go. Oh, I look like a clown. Oh! Okay, so I'm going to finish contouring here. Um, again, you're just going to go all along the hairline of your wig, put that on so you can kind of see, and just go right along the, the wig line here and just kind of fill them with black. It doesn't have to be perfect because the wig is going to kind of, you know, cover up any flaws you have, but you definitely want to deepen this up a little bit here. And then my hair kind of sticks out down here, which actually works out for my benefit because I just colored it in all my hair on the side with this black color. <laughs> so it just looks like a, a natural contour over here. You can kind of see. It just looks like kind of a contour. And let me go ahead and do just right along the jawline again. I just go right up from here, draw straight down, and then just draw like a cheek, cheek contour. Like so. Okay. And that is that. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to show you the finished look. I'm going to put the dots on and all that stuff. Okay? All right. Stay there. Well, hello. Hi. I'm all done. This is the look. Hi. So this would be kind of a Marilyn Monroe inspired pop art look. Shh. The dogs are going crazy. Oh my god, I'm so in character. This isn't Marilyn Monroe, but what? I'm so in character. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop, baby. Oh. <laughs> All right, so this would be a Marilyn Monroe inspired. Shh. Give me that toy. God, mother. Okay. Hi, I'm back. Inspired look. So, a couple quick little things. Make sure that you powder everything down. You can see. Any area that is exposed, any skin that is exposed needs to have these dots all over it. Otherwise, you lose the illusion. So if you're doing this for Halloween, you may want to wear something that covers up more because then you don't have to worry about all these dots. But I thought it was really sexy to do a little cleavage, if you see what I'm saying. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> you can do a little cleavage and that kind of thing, and you accentuate all the little lady parts if you want to. So it's a really fun look. Um, the other thing is that I um, used actually a little quicker. It actually cut it like in a ha like a half. I used this little guy to do all the dots. It's a little red pencil, cream pencil, and it went by really fast. Rather than using the brush and the cream I used in the last tutorial, a brush and a cream, um, I used a pencil and I just went dot, 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 and it like literally it went by so fast. I also use this red matte eyeshadow by Ben Nye. This one, actually, this is a powder rouge. Sorry, this one is I can't read it. Solil Red. Um, it's a matte um, rouge by Ben Nye. I use that to go over my lips a little bit to set those in as well. So this is the finished look. So I'm gonna take some pictures <laughs> um, with my man side, and you will see that exclusively on Facebook. Um, if you look at those, oh my God, is something happening with my eyelash over here? I feel like it's like drooping or something. <laughs> so you can look on Facebook and see the exclusive pictures and, um, of us merged together. All right. It's www.facebook.com slash the made face. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video and I will see you later. Bye.